well. Good morning, boys and girls, ladies, gentlemen, friends, neighbours, and Romans. Lend me your noses. Um, a bit windy, and I'm not sure if you'll actually hear me very well. In fact, it's uh, 10 degrees Celsius and blowing a hoolie, so it's very pleasant. A couple of days, excuse me, <coughs> a couple of days before Christmas, and I'm off to do some Christmas shopping. Essentials, chalky bickies, lots of. Uh, maybe some food in amongst that, but I doubt it. And a couple of days to Christmas, maybe it's a time to reflect. And I was looking over the years, I mean I've had, a, had quite a few children, quite a few wives, and quite a few Christmases. Uh, this will be my 62nd Christmas, so I have some experience. And I was looking at presents through the years, starting off with me receiving a little clockwork car, with my earliest memory, and the various gadgets that I've always wanted and had, and the various things I've bought children. And technology that I bought children but you know none of that matters two points does it diddly squat what really 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 means something is your love for your children your love for your parents and a lot of people forget that I see them walking around the supermarket the other day, pushing and shoving, fighting to get the best joint, the best turkey. Why? What does it matter? I swear to goodness that you could sit at home and you could put beans on toast in front of your children and they'd still enjoy being with you. They're not there, or good children are not there for the presence. They're a byproduct. They're there for the feeling, for the excitement. Because once they've opened their presence, nine times out of ten, it's an adrenaline collapse. And they'll get mischievous or broody or moody and again that's the time a parent shows his love to his children by tolerating that by understanding it so it's about moods it's about emotions it's about love so in this season of goodwill try and get down behind the screen in this season of goodwill just try to remember that when the kids are misbehaving or the present doesn't work or you haven't got the food you want on the table it, none of it matters Whee. but right away what really matters is a hug a cuddle why well bloody hell. I haven't got my daughter this year, so I'm on my own. There's no problem, I've done it before, we do it again. But that's what's making me realise that that is what Christmas is about. So go out, hug your loved ones, forget the rest, or not forget the rest, but don't put so much importance on the presence and the food. Put the importance on loving each other. And every single one of you have a very happy Christmas. My good wishes go out to you. And I hope that the season not only brings you what you want, but is what you want. 
and if during the Christmas meal or the present openings or boxing days someone's getting a little frustrated just give them a hug even if they're angry give them a hug and I'd like to wish you all a very very happy Christmas enjoy and I'll catch you again soon me I should be enjoying Chucky Bickies. <laughs> Ride safe. Keep smiling. There's lots of time when you're dead and you won't be able to smile. So do it now. Jingle bells. Bye bye.